Hello there, Cy Rodriguez. What is your one thing? Recently, I was listening to a book called The One Thing by Gary Keller and Jay Papasan, something like Papasan. And I thought I would share with you a little bit of insight from that book. First of all, it's a good book, and there's a lot more in it than what I'm going to share. And I'm really just using it as an example, not saying that you should go read it, although it might be a good thing for you to do. But the one thing, what is the one thing that you can do today that will help you to accomplish everything else or make everything else insignificant? Now that's not exactly word for word what the book says, but it's something along those lines. What really matters? What is it what is it that you really should be doing? Not what do you want to do, not what could you do. What is the one thing? So that's kind of the essence of the book, but there's a lot more to it than that. I also want to emphasize this point a little bit further. But if you were and I, I'm just going to do some name dropping here for um, somebody, Ralph Smart. You may have heard of him. If you haven't, then I highly recommend you check him out. Um, he's on YouTube, Infinite Waters. Good person as far as my opinion is concerned. And he used an example the other day that I really liked. But if you were an actor and you were out in the world and you had to play a certain part, what would that be? Who would you be? So, what would I be? I'm just going really off, straight really from the heart here, not thinking about this, but if I was an actor and I had to play a part of one thing in this world, then I would be somebody who was ready and who you could depend on, who was trying to make you smile, who was smiling on the inside in spite of what's going on on the outside, who knew what it felt like to laugh and cry at the same time, and at the same time was had some loyalty in life to Jesus not because I know anything for sure but because Jesus is the most awesome to me and I feel loyalty towards Jesus I feel like I'm doing good by making sure that I'm thankful for Jesus those are some of the character that I'd be playing. But I'd also be playing, I'd be singing, I'd be, yeah. And you wouldn't quite know what was going on with me, just like you don't right now, because it's just too complicated to figure it all out. Now, so there, there's my one thing. Now, I'm still working on my one thing. And one thing isn't just what are you going to be for the rest of your life. It's like, what are you going to be for this time of your life? What are you going to be today? What is your focus today? And that's really what it's about. In this world of all of this information coming at us all the time, what are you going to do today that really matters? And that's the, that is the essence of the one thing. When I met your girl, my heart went knock, knock. Now these butterflies in my stomach will not stop, stop. Even though it's a struggle, love is all we got. But we gon' keep, keep climbing to the mountaintop. I was singing. Yep, that's right. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop. Just because I'm feeling like maybe you didn't come here to see, hear me sing Justin Bieber. But what about Justin Bieber? He's singing. That's his one thing, right? He's really good at it, too. and He's also talented. And... A lot of people put him down 
and make fun of him, but I'd say the kid has a lot of talent. He's a good example of somebody who took that one thing, became the very best at it. And so, rather than ramble on about the one thing, what's your one thing? What really matters today? What can you do that is going to take you out of your normal routine that is not fulfilling, if it's not fulfilling for you, and it's going to get you on a path that's going to matter for you, something that is going to mean something to you, that's going to give you the motivation that you need to live a life that is on purpose. So I'll leave with you with that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.